Hello there, my name is Tim Little. I am a nighttime landscape artist and I live on Cape Cod on the East Coast of Massachusetts. And I would normally be doing a video about photography, but in this particular case, I'm doing the video specifically to give you an audio sampling of this microphone, the Stellar X2 from Tech Zone. When I was looking for a replacement microphone for my old setup, which was the Zoom H2N, uh, I did a bunch of research and came across this microphone in a few reviews, and it was definitely within my price point. It was about 199 bucks, and I was able to get it on Amazon. I got it in, and I have to say that I am I'm thrilled with it. This is the audio as it sounds without any filtering applied. I'm actually running all of this through a MacBook that is running OBS. I think that stands for Open Broadcasting Software. Now, when I first got it and heard it, I thought, wow, that sounds great. But like anyone else, you'd like to tinker with things. So I went ahead and applied some filters. And again, none of those filters are applied right now. So you can get a, a, a good representation of what the microphone sounds like without any extra help. Uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll enable the filters for you after so you can hear the difference. That said, let me tell you a little bit about the room that I'm in. So I have, I have carpeting. I, I'm in a bedroom. I have carpeting. I have four windows. Each window has panel curtains. And then right next to me, I have a king size bed. And as a result, I, there's not a lot of echo in here. There's not a lot of extra sound bouncing around. There's a little bit if I get a little bit too loud. But for the most part, it seems to reject quite a bit off the, the backside and the sides. In the front of the house, which is off in that direction, there is a road kind of a main road where there's a lot of traffic that goes back and forth. And I never I never pick it up on this microphone. I it's on a boom arm. It's on a newer, I think it's I think it's newer, N-E-E-W-E-R. And I, I really had to kind of finagle, <laughs> if that's a word, where I wanted to have this set up because I, I didn't want it blocking the monitor that you see over here. And I, I didn't want it creating a shadow on my face. I mean, it does to some degree if I move over a little bit too far. <laughs> and I didn't want it in front of my face. I know a lot of people talk and it's like, all you see is microphone. So I am I was a little bit limited in terms of where exactly I was going to set it up. And so this is where it ended up. Before that, I had the Zoom H2N on the arm reverse. So the arm was kind of coming up like this. And the Zoom H2N is a super light microphone. It's only... I don't know. It's it, it it's like a feather and without batteries in it. So it's a portable microphone. If you don't know what it is, it's a portable microphone that has a, an NSD card slot in it. And then you can take it out in the field, which I was using for recording here. And it was OK. It was OK. But it was a typical USB microphone. I felt like it had a it had a very digital sound to it. it sounded very much like a, like an MP3 compression. And again, I'm not an audio engineer. I'm sure that could be addressed, but I, I wanted to get something a little bit more professional and that's why I ended up with that. But the uh, this microphone is is such a great build quality and it's heavy enough where I couldn't have it on the, the microphone arm the way I had it set up because the arm would just it would just sink. So I had to flip everything around. But I, I kinda like the setup. I know it's it's pretty standard. I didn't get a pop filter for it yet and I may get one. I'm trying to talk past it. Not trying to talk at it trying to talk past it. And I, I think that's probably going to work pretty well. I haven't seen a lot of pop filters that I like. And, you know, I'm not here to read audiobooks to people. I'm not doing a, a live show. I'm I'm also not blowing directly into the, the microphone repeatedly. So I may not get one in the end. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So anyway, hopefully this was a really good sampling of what the microphone sounds like without anything applied to it. And in a minute, I'm going to come right back and I'm going to have the filters applied that that I went ahead and set up for myself, thinking that that's probably where I, I want the microphone to be. So I'll be right back. All right, we're back and I have the filters applied. I have three filters applied. I don't know if you can tell the difference or not. Maybe without headphones, there isn't a lot of a difference, but hopefully you're noticing a difference that sounds better. It sounds better to me. I know everybody is subjective on what they think sounds better. And I'm going to tell you exactly what I ended up applying. And this was after hours of messing around with all sorts of different equalizers and filters. Um, let me open this up and I can give you some more detail. So I ended up using a noise gate 
for all the obvious reasons that everybody would want to use a noise gate. Now, I don't have a lot of ambient noise in here. I have no ambient noise in here at all. But every so often, my my dog starts snoring if he's sleeping over here in his bed or um, there's some sound outside. But the only sound I usually ever have going on in this room is a fan. And I've, I've turned the fan off because I, I don't need it on right now just to give it a full uh, full quieting effect. The, uh, the second thing I added was an equalizer. And I, I gave myself a 1 to 2 dB bass boost around 200 hertz. And then I gave myself a little bit of a boost at 5,000 and again at 8,000, only about 1 dB. And, and that was it. And I determined for my voice, I feel like that worked. I feel like that worked pretty well. I'm open to your opinion on it. Please feel free. And then the, the last thing I did was I added a compressor. And um, I'm doing a two to one ratio. I tried the three and I, I didn't like the way that I, it sounded. And I, I know that a lot of the videos I saw people recommended three. But two to me just sounded better. And again, it's, it's subjective. So that's what I did. Uh, I also gave myself a little bit of gain through the software. Um, I'm doing a, uh, a 1.5 dB gain in OBS. So all that's well and good, but now you're probably wondering what audio interface I'm using. And I'm using the Scarlett, I think it's called the 2i2, which I've been really thrilled with. It has a bunch, bunch of functionality that I'm probably not going to use at any point. Uh, the extra microphone port, I don't think I'm going to need. It has the monitoring function. I don't think I'm going to need that just for my own use. Uh, I guess I've maybe future-proofed myself because I have all these extra things that I may I may use at some point, but I probably won't. Uh, it also has the button called Air, which is supposed to give you a little bit more higher end. I'm going to click that button, see if you can see the difference. Okay, so I just enabled that functionality. That's supposed to give the highs or the higher end a little bit more oomph. And I do notice it when I wear my headphones. I'm not sure if you're hearing it now. And the, the volume is, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, the, the gain on the box itself is, is a little bit past half. So that's my setup. Really basic, super simple. I'm going to turn the uh, air off and see if you can notice the difference again. And that's where we're at. I'll probably keep tweaking it and messing around with it, but I thought maybe this video might help someone out there. There aren't a lot of videos for the Stellar X2 currently. There, the videos that are out there are really great. Um, came across somebody by the name of, of Booth Junkie, and it, that video was kind of the one that, that got me going, oh, huh, interesting. Maybe I should research this more. And, and I did, and now I own it. So and no regrets on the purchase. I am thrilled with it. The build quality is substantial. I've not owned a lot of microphones in my lifetime. This is only my second microphone, but I have owned a lot of technology. And I have to say that this is a piece of technology that feels really solid. Like it's got a nice weight to it. The the metal is is very nicely done. The the grill around the microphone is really solid. Like you'd have to put a ton of weight on it to crush it, which I'm I'm not going to do. Uh, it came packed in a really nice box. Hold on a sec. I'm going to get that so you can have a look at it. Came in this box. Th this is this is a pretty nice box, actually. I would say um, it's kind of on par with what you'd get at Harbor Freight. <laughs> but it's good. It's made out of metal. It's not incredibly heavy. Open this up for you and see if I can get to the interior. Foam. Regular old foam. Came with one of those, I think they call it a clown nose. That's fine. And uh, one of the complaints that I saw about this early on was that the, the foam inside, that was my watch, by the way. Did you hear that? It was kind of behind the microphone. The foam inside had a weird smell to it. This one didn't, so maybe they got that under control. I do want to point out, though, that in the paperwork that I got, which I thought was really interesting, is... Um, you, you obviously get the, you know, thanks for buying. Here's some safety tips and care instructions. But you also get this card, which is hand signed. And uh, uh, this is the quality control checklist. I don't know. That's probably not going to be info. There we go. And uh, they did a 14 hour burn in test, which is great. Uh, it says they did a, a polarization voltage check, a frequency sweep, a sensitivity check. They checked the noise floor and they did a visual inspection 
and they give you the date of the test. Mine was November 29th, 2019, a signature. And then they give you the, um, I guess, the serial number of the microphone in case anything goes wrong. I, I do believe there's a two-year warranty on these, I think. Anyway, that said, this was my video about the Stellar X2. I hope it helped. I hope it was helpful for anybody who's interested in getting this microphone. Just as an amateur, I have to say, I, I like it. I like it a lot. And I have sent videos to friends of mine and audio samples and they think it sounds fantastic. So uh, don't regret this purchase at all. If you're thinking about it, I would suggest you do it. Hey, if you try it and you don't like it, I'm sure you can return it. But I will say that it has really made me feel a lot better about my audio. So again, hope it helped. If you have any suggestions on anything you heard through my own samples here, please feel free to let me know. Um, I am willing to take any amount of um, suggestions and see if I can apply it for, for better audio. Anyway, have a good rest of the day and thanks for watching.